operation on your father is going to take several hours. I want to stay here. Uh, well, I'll try to come out when I can, tell you how things are going. Please stay here. Please don't let him die. I, well, we will do the best we can. Come on, let's go get started. You don't have to stay here. Why don't you go to your wife? I don't want to go home. I want to be here when Victor comes out of surgery. He's going to be very weak. Not too weak to tell me what you meant when he said you were a liar. He was delirious. He didn't know what he was saying. He knew exactly what you were saying. And I will too before today's over. What's in the back? Well, we were down having a picnic on the docks and uh, that's what's left over. Some good stuff too. Mm. Like what? Some oars. You want some? Oh, sure. Let's go to the kitchen. Okay. Up you go. So, what's up? You figure out uh, who gave you the boy? No. It's very strange. What? Did you know that Olivia was in Cheryl's apartment today when Robin was there? No. What was she doing? I don't know. Visiting, I suppose. But she told Robin something really disturbing. What? She told her to look after these love birds. She said if... She said if the daddy bird disappeared, then the mummy bird would die. That's a hell of a thing to tell a child. That if the daddy bird is taken away, the mummy bird will die. I talked to Robin. She's fine about it now. Well, I hope so. Look, I don't know what's going on around here, but I will not have that sleazy broad terrorizing my daughter. Well, Duke was furious. Is that right? Yes. Where is he? I don't know. Why? I didn't want to make a fuss in front of Robin, but he's gone out looking for Olivia, and I think if he finds her, it's going to be a fight. Yeah. Well, um, Robin sure likes some more. She'll make herself sick. No, I only gave her a couple. Why didn't you tell me that Olivia was at your place when my daughter was there? I didn't think it was important. She was only there for a few minutes. Where's she staying? I don't know. Porch House Hotel, I guess. I'm going to call her. Hello. Robert, what are you doing there? Where are you? Is Olivia with you? What's wrong with you? I asked you where you were. I'm at General Hospital. Victor Jerome had a heart attack. He's in the middle of surgery right now. Stay there. I'm coming over. I'm not going anywhere. Put her on the telephone, please. It's your husband. Where are you? What happened? What, what did Olivia do? What was she doing? in your apartment when my daughter was there, when I told you to have nothing more to do with her. I didn't know she was coming. I was in the shower. We'll talk about this later. I want to know why you didn't ask her to leave. Robert Scorpio's on his way. Why? He probably wants to talk to you about some lovebirds. <gasps> what do you think you're trying to do? Why did you talk to Robin the way you did? I told you to stay out of our lives and I meant it. I would never do anything to harm that little girl. Oh, what are you talking about? You don't do anything without thinking. I know you're desperate and you're demented, but why did you take out a child? I'm telling you the truth, Duke. I didn't mean anything by it. Oh, sure. Excuse me. Yes. I'm looking for Dr. Alan Quartermain. Oh, he's not here. He went to the Labor Day picnic. Where is that? It's in the park across the street. Thank you. My name's Duke Lavery. If anybody asks for me, tell them I'm there. Okay. Hi, Duke. How goes the operation? Well, Victor's still at surgery, but it doesn't look very good. Listen, Monica's the best. You have every reason to be optimistic. Yeah, I know. Listen, I know I'm imposing a different picnic, but I need to ask you a pen. Sure, what is it? Just before Victor went into surgery, he, he warned me about Olivia. Well, what did he say? He told me she was a liar and that she couldn't be trusted. That's why I, I need a pen for me, please. Well, what do you want me to do? I think she may have misled the doctor in New York. I'd like to find out for you. Do you want me to call him? Never mind. Sure, I'll be glad to do it. Listen, I hope for your sake she is lying because I know for sure that Dr. Dalton is. Listen, I know what the woman's capable of. I, I won't underestimate her. Okay. I'll go and make the call now. I won't. Okay. I'll be there when Victor was out, sir. 
my father. Uh, it's a very long procedure. How is he? He's in serious condition. Oh, no. I just wish that he had had that medication with him. I've told him never to go anywhere without it, but he's very stubborn. If he'd had it, if he'd taken it, he wouldn't have had the seizure. You're going to save him, aren't you? We're trying. For this morning. Oh, you're very welcome. Sleep well. I will. Good night. Good night. Mommy. I'll be in a minute. Oh, well, I guess I better get going. You know. I, uh, um. Oh. I'm sorry about what happened with Olivia. I, I really had no idea she'd say something like that to Robin. Well, that's not your fault. I didn't know you two were such good friends. Well, I met her, um, when she was redecorating Duke's Club. Oh. You don't know her as well as Duke and I do. She can be a bit of a troublemaker. Well, Robert got so angry, he wouldn't even let me explain why she was there. Hmm. He's pretty tough at times, but he only does it to people he cares about, so... Don't worry. I'll try not to. Bye, then. Good night. I've already spoken to her. It won't happen again. Look, I don't much care for you. I care about Anna and I care about Robin. And if I have to throw her in the slam of a spitting in the street, I'll do it just to get her out of my head. I think that might be a big mistake. If you want information out regarding them all, then don't throw her away. Well, 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 there she is. Take it easy, please. I understand you're making my daughter today. I didn't mean anything. Mother, got you to it. Now, I think in the future you should understand that children are very impressionable. They frighten me, see. You understand me. Why didn't you tell me that Olivia showed up when Robin was here? First of all, I already told you that I didn't know she was coming. Secondly, I don't appreciate you barging in here like this. You might say hello. Mm, hello. Better. I'm still angry at what happened. I understand. I mean, she's scared Anna and Robin, and Anna being pregnant doesn't need the aggravation. What do you want from me? I didn't know she was coming. What am I supposed to do? Put bars on the elevator? I got rid of her as soon as I could. But not until she'd said what she'd said. I can't read minds. I can't stop her from saying what she's going to say. I'm sorry, Robert. I'm not perfect. I'm not Anna. Did you reach Dr. Dalton? He's away for the holiday week, and I left word for him to call me tomorrow. I appreciate it. You know, the more I think about it, I think Olivia's lying. I understand why you don't want to believe her, but you mustn't get your hopes up too high. Come on, Alan. Hope's all I've got left. Is my father going to be all right? Uh, well, uh, his condition is a lot worse than we anticipated. How soon can I see him? Uh, not for a while. He's going to be in recovery for several hours, and then we'll move him to intensive care. Yes, I don't anticipate him regaining consciousness exactly until tomorrow morning. May I see him now? I would advise you wait until tomorrow. In that case, I'm going home. Please call me as soon as you got visitors. Yes, of course. Unless I hear from you before then. If I hear anything from New York, I'll call you. 
Thank you. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry if I came in here like a bull in a china shop. You haven't ever acted like that with me. I don't like it. Well, I'd, I'd like you to uh, forgive me. Um, I was still angry at Lavery. And I had no right to take that on you, I know that. Look, <clears throat> I don't want you to be anybody else but you. Not another Anna. I like you just the way you are. And if I was... Uh, angry about Olivia, it's because I realize how dangerous a woman like that can be. Hey, I'm just trying to protect something which I look upon as being very precious to me. Hi. Hi. Mm. So. What? What happened when you saw Olivia? I gave her hell for what she said to Robert. Good. <laughs> Robert was furious, too. Mm, I know. I saw him at the hospital. I tried to calm him down before he talked to her. You did? <laughs> I said I tried. <laughs> yeah. I tried to convince him that I wouldn't do his investigation of the mob any good if he upset her. I can't stand that woman. Yeah, she must be pretty worried now. Victor's all she's got. Do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Shut up about Olivia. <laughs> so maybe what you told her will teach her to stay away from us. <laughs>